Okay, we've learned how to build a base app in ASP.NET. Hopefully, we feel fairly comfortable with that basic kind of CRUD app. And we started to learn how to build a basic app in React as well. What we're going to do now is tie the two together, and we, and we showed how to tie them together in the previous set of videos. But now we're going to just embark on a journey together. We're going to be, oh, do you see that? My uh, little Bing desktop just switched in the middle of that statement. We went from the beautiful beach to the moon. Where did we go? This looks like some sort of northern lights, but it looks deserty. I don't know what this is. Anyway, oh, let's learn more about this picture. Uh, Northern Lights in the Sopmi reason, region of Finland. Finland. So this is what we're looking at as Finland. Beautiful. All right. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. So we're gonna we're gonna take a journey together. We're gonna go. Uh, you know, speaking of a, a this picture change, this trip, this scenic view that we're looking at, we're going to go on a scenic trip of uh, ASP.NET and React and uh, tying them together to make an app. So we're just gonna do a bunch of different things in one project. So dissimilar to what we've done in the past, where we've kind of hit a new topic each week and, and new uh, you know, uh, technology and, and, and uh, start a new project over and over again, we're just gonna stick on the same project and go for a number of weeks. And so we can get much further that way by continuing on one project than consistently starting over again and uh, going through setup over and over again, which I think you'll like. So uh, I was trying to think of what to do for a project a number of years back. And uh, a while back, I was looking for a good charity to donate to. And uh, as you go and read about charities, there's a lot of problems with corruption and, and uh, not a lot of money making it to the end of the row, they say. And so I went and looked up information about good charities to contribute to. And one of them that was on the list was this one called thewaterproject.org. So we'll go there, thewaterproject.org. And so uh, this charity was one that came up and there were others. This is not meant to be a, you know, a, a promotion for this particular charity. There's lots of good ones, but this one's one that just kind of you know touched my heart. And uh, um, anyway, so I'll, I'll uh, just give you a little run through. So you go in, you donate, you can either do a one-time donation or you can subscribe for a monthly donation. And this is a good one that has been vetted that a lot of money makes it to the end of the row. And, um, and, and so what is it? Well, it's getting water to places that don't have good clean water, which seems like it's a pretty, if you're looking at the basics, you know, needs of a, a human being, Clean water has to be one of those most important things. And so uh, this particular group is in Africa. And uh, so together we, we'll provide access to clean, safe, and reliable water across sub-Saharan Africa, one community at a time. So you can go in and donate. But the thing that I really liked about it that's going to work well for uh, as we try to kind of emulate this website is that uh, you can go in and, and when I donated... Uh, you get an update and it says your money went to this specific project in this specific village. And by the way, here's an update. Here's where we're at on the project. And here's some pictures of, of the project. And so if you go in and look at um, this tab that says our work and then click into live impact reports, maps and pics, these are the types of things you get updates in an email. So you can go in, click in to explore a program area. They've got them. You can see they've done a lot, a lot of good. And so you click into one of these places. Uh, I'll click into this Toulon Secondary School. And so you go see the full project report. And in this report, it shows that this is a rainwater catchment program type. The regional program is called Western Kenya Wash Program. The impact is estimated 500 served. This has been in service since December 2017. Its functional functionality status is functional. And the last checkup was in December of 2025. And then it has all these different project features. It's a rainwater catchment. There's local leadership involved, community engagement. There's hand washing stations, uh, ventilated improved pit latrines there, hygiene and sanitation training, and monitoring and resolution. So these are all features of this particular project. Then you can go in and look at the photos and you can see 
uh, this project and how it's uh, impacted these individuals. And so we'll just click through some of these photos. This is the school that it's helping and community. Uh, the kids in class. And so I think this is really neat. There's there's a picture of one of the pumps to, to get water out. And uh, anyway, so this is just one of the projects. And then you can go back to the map. And um, so we'll go back to uh, the map here. Find another. Let's scroll way out. We'll scroll way out and uh, go in over here, Uganda. Click down here, take a look at this project and see what it says. So this is a dug well and hand pump was the project type. The program is wells for Masindi, uh, Jinga, Uganda. The impact is 252 estimated, served, right? And what phase are we at? This is a community managed project now. Um, and then the initial installation was December 2012. They have here dug well and hand pump as the features, local leadership, community engagement, and hygiene and sanitation training that have gone on, gone on there. And there's photos of this uh, well that was dug um, to be able to, again, get clean water, which uh, you know so many of these individuals spend time, <laughs> large chunks of their day, going to get water. And it's not clean water. In many cases, they're, they're walking for miles to go get clean, to get water and bring it back. And so this is not only saving uh, lives through, through clean water and good hygiene, um, but it is also helping uh, to free up time to complete other uh, tasks that they have, bef you know, in, in their lives. And so I think, you know, for for a group of people that have been pretty blessed, uh, whatever it is, whether it's this charity or other charities, to look at you know our brothers and sisters around the world and try to make a difference is a big deal. So. What I decided to do for this project is pretend this never existed. And you have been tasked with building something similar to be able to allow people to go in and say, hey, you know what, this connected with me. I wanna donate. And to give the ability for users to put in donations, to, to check out, to, uh, you know, all of those different steps, you know, uh, we can do some good. That's one of the things I love about technology is we can use it for all sorts of different things but one of those things is to do some good in the world. So anyway, that's my idea, is that we'll take and build a much more simple version of this website, um, but, but pretending that this didn't exist and we have been uh, tasked with writing this website so that we can help uh, these individuals. And so our skills are gonna do some good. So we're gonna get rolling um, and, I, and I will do that with starting with setting up the project in the next video. Should be fun. Spencer out.